Welcome to Conversations, Cocktails, and Connections, the talk show, the podcast, and our happy hour. Each week, we mix up a new-to-us cocktail and share our happy hour conversation with you. We've been friends for over 20 years, we're both business owners, and we have opposite personalities but many shared interests. We think that makes us a perfect pairing as we talk about entertainment, pop culture, shopping, and local to Arkansas happenings. We are so happy you've decided to hang out with us today. Visit our website to learn more or get in touch with ideas, feedback, or accolades, and definitely subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. And while you're there, leave us a rating and review. It really helps. Cheers. Welcome to Conversations, Cocktails, and Connections. I'm Amy Hester. I'm Emily Reeves. Cheers, Cheers. friends. We've got a, a Mexican firing squad today. You did not taste the tequila at all. Not at all, which is a dangerous thing. I know. So I looked up recipe, like tequila recipes that aren't margaritas, basically. And so this is one that came up. Another one that came up we'll be making next week. Okay. You know what was, when you said firing squad, I was like, oh my God, does it have hot damn or something in it? Well, no, I know you don't like spicy. Okay. I got my list of things that, um, that is off the, off the, off the charts, off the, uh list of possibilities so yeah it's very sweet like it i almost, sweet. almost feel like we could cut back the grenadine i agree so it's reposado tequilo grenadine tequilo i've had a week tequila grenadine which we did we used good grenadine not not the gross kind which i think we have the gross kind over there somewhere yeah. too on our bar you know that not that typical like let's make some roses um, grenadine yeah yeah we've got we got like the real like pomegranate juice stuff lime juice and bitters we could maybe add some more bitters maybe i could have bittered it up a little bit more sure i don't mind it i don't mind it either and i'm usually kind of a, a hitter it, you know it could be a, a, a fail for me sometimes with tequila drinks mm-hmm. i mean mm-hmm. i like tequila shooting it after i've already been drunk oh uh, and i like to sip on tequila yeah i'm a tequila drinker I will say when we went to, so like I've gotten into the habit of ordering ranch water when I go to like a bar. Mm-hmm. I like to try cocktails. I usually start with like one of their specialty cocktails and then I'll move to mm-hmm. tequila and I try to keep it tequila based, but that doesn't always happen because I like yeah. to try all the things, you know, all of that to say. When we were at Sterling Market a couple of weeks ago, I'd ordered a ranch water, came out normal, ordered the second one. And it was a different bartender mm-hmm. and he was like, would you like that? made in the bottle like they do on the ranch and i was like well no one's ever offered that sure let's do that and um like and they, they so it's like it. yeah so it's like basically like it wasn't topo chico but basically like a, a sparkling water like yeah. that they pour out some he poured it into a glass for me i'm like really it's fine and then they pour the shot of tequila in there and then put the lime on top and um i won't do that again why um well it didn't stay cold enough which i'm not even a cold freak like yeah. you are to I don't put that much, like, my tequila to water ratio is much different. (laughs) And it is much different when you make it in a cocktail, too. Like, if you make it in a cocktail glass, you're, it's much less water than what you, when you build it in the bottle. But I can see why on the ranch they might drink that because then you can drink it all day long. Right, Like, a nice little slow running buzz underneath. Um, But that's not how I want to be drinking it at the bar. Right. The, you know, I remember when I went, to, I feel like I told you, but I've not seen this since now, now it's been too long, so I can't remember, but it was like in December when I went to Vegas and I was, we went into this liquor store, um, like right when we got there to take some wine or something back to the room. Um, and there, there was a guy that worked for ranch water, like, or for whatever, just the company sells ranch water. Mm-hmm. And he was, um, oh, me. like which, which brand? The ranch okay. water is just like a generic. Well, drink. I know, but there's one that I think was the first one that I've, I've seen. And I don't know okay. the name of it. If I saw the bottle, I would know. But anyway, he was set. He was there was a new flavor, mm-hmm. and I tried it, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is actually really good." And of course, now I've forgotten what it is. <laughs> but um, every time I go, if I'm going to a liquor store and and it's something that I needed for the daytime, I'll look to see if they. And I still mm-hmm. haven't found that anywhere. Do you know what the flavor was? No, but if I saw the. If I saw it, and I you would. don't know the brand. I know the. I know it if I saw it. Okay. Well, I can't help you then. I know. I, I might I know. be able I to help you otherwise. I probably could look it up and see. Um, well, you don't have to do it right now. Yeah. Okay. I want to go to a ranch. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I really want to do like a city slickers. I know. You've been talking about that for a long time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You need to get on that in between all the other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I, need, I need this this ranch to have like. 
spa days and stuff. Like I need like <laughs> vis- I need some some uh relaxation. Speaking soon. of ranches, did you see that Kevin Costner's leaving Yellowstone? This is gonna be his last season. See, I wondered if if he was somebody's making an exit, I, I thought, but maybe mm-hmm. maybe this is a newer, like maybe there's somebody else that's going to die. I feel like there was always this rumor before, like in the early in the year that they're like leading up to somebody. And I was like, oh, my God, it's going to be Beth or Rip. I mean, what is it going to be? Because they've really focused on the relationship so yeah. much. So something's going to happen. And then, yeah, and I don't know if they're killing him off, or I mean, I'm assuming they have to if he's yeah. going to leave the show because because of his age and everything. But like, apparently, he's the the celebrity gossip stuff is saying like he's not into the show, he doesn't really like doing it, and he's got some other opportunity that that is going to cross over with filming of Yellowstone, and he's more interested in doing that. So he's basically like to Yellowstone, and they're trying, they're like basically making him honor his contract through the end of this season. What? To wrap it all up, but and his wife filed of eighteen years filed for divorce I yesterday or this week or something, and um, so anyway, apparently he's just kind of being over a, the whole thing and kind of being an asshole, right. according to the celebrity gossip. Who knows what's true and what's not true? I mean, there's always a little truth to yeah. it. I think, um, yeah. you know, I mean, sorry, Kevin. Well, and there's also going to be a spinoff with the, you know, the 666 Ranch Oh, I love or that. With Jimmy? With Jimmy <gasps> and, and Matthew McConaughey. <gasps> I have chills. I know. And there was a trailer that came out, and I haven't watched it yet, but apparently it's out, so. Oh, my God. I really do. I have chills. <laughs> um, I love, you know, at first, he bu- Jimmy bugged me. Same. And I loved him. And I really loved that whole, like, whenever that was when they went to the 666 mm-hmm, Ranch. All that kind of beauty, I loved yeah. that. Like, and I just thought, okay, this could be real interesting. Three, I think they call it the 36. Do they call it the 36 oh, or something? Six, I, six, I, six. I, said, I said 666 okay. when I said that. Like but the I devil worship. But I, I don't think they call it that because that is, I think they call it the 36 or something like There's oh, something, maybe. they call it something else. Because so it, it, it's a real place. Yeah. I think it's, is it, isn't it the guy who's make, I mean, listen, this is, don't quote, but I'm just saying. The guy who's doing Yellowstone, like the main guy, he was had some cameos in it early on. Okay. Um, and he, I want to say it might be his place in Texas. I, I don't know. I don't know. You could be yeah. right. That, I, that, I could be starting like completely <laughs> new gossip. I, I don't know. But I don't know. it looked beautiful. I mm-hmm. mean, I don't really want to go to a Texas ranch because it's probably hot as shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it sounded kind of fun. And I liked Jimmy kind of you kind of he's like I the like one his character yeah. arc yeah, it was a good story yeah you you wanted a root for him you mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. you wanted him to do well and so ah, that's wonder when that's gonna come out i don't know i like i said i didn't actually kevin's just it. mad that he's not like uh he's gonna be uh like upped with matthew mcconaughey you know i i don't know i suspect it has more to do with like Kevin Costner thinks of himself as a movie star, like old school movie star, yeah. and he's doing television. I bet he thinks it's like beneath him. I, well, again, it's gotten kind of uh, like uh, soap opera-ish. Mm-hmm. Like at first, it, I don't know. I like it. I mean, I'm still going to watch oh, it. of course. But, you know. Of course. But I can see that. You know, like there's mm-hmm. just, um, there's just th- kind of that age of Hollywood. There's a, like, well, I don't want to do there's not television. any... Um, I feel like the movies are not great anymore. Like, I mean, most of these big film movie stars are doing series. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've really watched, I've started getting into the Jennifer Garner one on Apple. Yeah. Last, the last, last thing he told me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. 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 I, I think I've watched like three or four of them. It's pretty good. I think, yeah, I think, have you watched all of them that are out? I think there's only three or four out. Um, I think I may have one more. Okay. We got caught up on that and, um. We've got so many different weekly drop model watchings going now that I've had to make a list of things that we're watching so oh. that we can remember to check. Because I don't know when they come out, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm like, I got to check. Is it out tonight or whatever? And we got all messed up last weekend because we went looking for yellow jackets and couldn't find it. And they took a weekend off? Like, why? It wasn't like a holiday weekend. Everything's pre-filmed. You know, it's like, I wonder if... why did they skip a week? I, we were Googling. <laughs> huh. That is interesting. <laughs> mm-hmm. Was there another show they were trying to promote? Oh, have you seen previews for the basic, no, not basic, instinct, um, Fatal Attraction? I haven't watched the previews. I've seen a bunch of the stuff, promo about it, but I don't know that I want to watch it. I didn't like it to begin with, you know? Yeah. I mean, it was, it was early. It was, it was scary. I mean, Glenn, Cl- Glenn Close was so scary. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Um, well, here's the thing. If it's not already produced, there could be a while before we see some stuff with the writer's strike. You know, all the oh, late yes. shows went off the air and they're just running reruns. Saturday Night Live for this weekend got canceled, which I'm so bummed about because it was supposed to be Pete Davidson hosting. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Because well, his new show comes out this weekend. Which is what? Bub Kiss. What channel is that on? Well, you is it always dumb? ask that. I don't know. No, it's like, it's supposed to be semi-biographical, but he's got like Joe Pesci in it, playing his dad. He's got, um, oh. Uh, oh gosh, who was the, who was the wife on um, Sopranos? Oh, um, she plays his mom. Yeah, okay. Um, so it's got like really good people in it. And um, the reviews say it's good. Like it's funny, but it's kind of got this okay. kind of, you know, um, I like good it. storytelling thread in it. It's produced by Lauren Michaels, who's all oh, Saturday really? Night Live. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah. it's not like just kind of Pete Davidson being yeah. stupid. But again, I come at it with like kind of a dif- different filter because I like him yeah, so much, you, do you like know? Him. Yeah. So I'm excited to watch that this weekend. Well, I'm going to have to see when that comes out. I mean, I haven't been watching very much because a lot of times what I've, I've got to stop doing is trying to watch something serious mm-hmm. and not paying it doing something else and then therefore i think there's two shows that i've got to like backtrack yeah and like start watching like the one with carrie russell on netflix yeah the diplomat yeah i i I know i'm gonna like it i just think i need to go back and pay attention a little bit yeah i haven't started that one yet we started love and death with elizabeth olsen okay and i'm having a real hard time with it like i I wonder if we'll finish it so it's about do you know what it's about? Uh-uh. Okay. I haven't even seen anything. So it's about um, this murder that took place in Texas. Like this housewife was having an affair with like one of her friend's husbands. Okay. And her name was Candy. And she went and killed, like axe murdered the wife. Oh, this is the... Well, no. So Jessica Biel also did a series. Okay. I watched that and one. They did them on two different... They were basically filming them at the same time. <laughs> Like, one got greenlit, like, a couple of weeks before or after the other one. And supposedly, they didn't know about each other until they were both, like, a month into filming. And the Jessica Biel one, is it Biel? Jessica Biel, yeah. Yeah. Came out last year. Yeah. And now the Elizabeth, but it's the exact same story. So the one I don't care. So the one with Elizabeth Olsen has the rights to, like, the book and all the articles, because it's based on a Texas Monthly article. And the one that was done with Jessica Biel was based, is just based on what's, like, um public knowledge common okay. you know kind of in the common um arena did you watch the Je- the jessica one Mm-mm. okay so do you know anything about the story well yeah now just yeah from like yeah. reading mm-hmm. well i liked the jessica bill one mm-hmm. maybe more because of her transformation was just like it wasn't she still looked the same it was just like the wig and the glasses and stuff yeah so it's kind of dumb but um i didn't like the story i mean i thought you know what happens but then you're like Mm-hmm. It just ends. So I didn't watch that one, so I don't know how it ends. Okay. And I'm not sure how. Well, the, I won't say but like, anything. But... but this one they've got, I think that one was like five episodes. And this one is seven episodes. And I'm like, I mean, during the first episode, we got to the end of it. And I was like, Matthew, because he, he was the one that put it on. And I was like, they're going to have to do something because I'm about to fall the so fuck it's asleep. boring? It's just really, in my opinion. Yeah. It, there's like 45 minute episodes and they're, so it's long. And yeah. they're like dragging it out. We've gone through two episodes and the murder hadn't happened yet. And I'm like. Yeah. We spent a whole episode with them going back and forth about, like, negotiating the affair. Because apparently they spent a lot of time discussing it before they actually yeah. had the affair. And I was like, oh, I get it. Like, Elizabeth Olsen is a great actress. Totally get it. Jesse Plemons, awesome. You know? But I'm like... Who's Jesse Plemons? I don't think I know. Um, you know who he, He's married to Kirsten Dunst. And he... Oh, I love him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, he plays, mm-hmm, so yeah. he plays... So he plays the husband. And uh, I'm just like... The husband that she has an affair with? Yes. Oh, I don't believe... That's not very believable to me. <sighs> anyway, what was the 80s? I, know, I mean, yeah. early 80s. 78 is when the like the story starts in this one. So we started watching that. Then we also started watching White House Plumbers, which is Woody Harrelson, and like the whole Watergate, oh, um, Nixon gosh, break-in. I don't even know all this stuff. I don't like it. <laughs> you don't? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and um, we got two episodes into that. I mean, like, these are like ones that... I bet I won't finish, and I bet Matthew will, because yeah. it's just goofy. Like, I, they're kind of, they're telling the story, because apparently the guys that broke into Watergate, Watergate were, you know, off book, hired directly by Nixon, not government officials, whatever, and they're apparently terrible, like, 
thieves thieves <laughs> and they attempted to break in like four times before they actually got in and so it, it's kind, it's got justin thoreau and woody harrelson it's like the team that's breaking in and it's it feels spoofy you know like Woody sounds got like some sort of um prosthetic in his mouth that makes him like jut out and and it's just very <laughs> distracting it sounds like the the one the tommy lee movie kind of the the thieves those guys that were trying to like break in oh yes yeah, i didn't watch that the seth uh seth rogan movie don't watch i did seth not rogan. like it at all mm-hmm. because it there was a because you all everybody knows that tommy lee is known for his penis being extremely large right mm-hmm. and um I mean, I didn't know that, but I... I oh, yeah. I, that's, like, the thing that he, and, and Pamela Anderson and the sex tape and all that stuff. Well, it was kind of okay, and you kind of know little things until there's a scene where Tommy, the guy who's playing Tommy Lee is talking to his penis, and his penis is talking back to him. Oh, God. I mean, Like, really, the whole... That's a, that's a Seth like, Rogan thing. Yeah, it totally is. Yeah. And I was like, it's totally... I can see it's like Seth they, Rogen and um, what's-his-face... They were getting cracked up yeah. doing that, I bet. Yeah. I mean, it literally is like a cartoon that the, the penis is... T- and I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I didn't I didn't watch that, and now I'm glad that I didn't. But um, on, like, a complete opposite of that, this week I have watched the... Rewatched the Pitch Perfect trilogy. Like, had it on my computer while <laughs> I've been wa- uh, working. And it's just classic. That's it's so, so good. I don't know if I ever saw the third one. I mean, the third one's real silly. Yeah. I mean, it's very the same silly. people? Same people, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's got John Lithgow in it <laughs> as um, as Fat Amy's dad. Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> she's not so fat anymore. I know. I know. Um, but I thought it was really interesting, like, rewatching it all these years later. So the first one's good. It's just mm-hmm. classic, right? The second one, because the first one was so popular, the second one, there's so many cameos of like oh, yeah. super famous people and i think it's just because they wanted to be in there uh-huh. because the first one was such a hit yeah. you know which you kind of forget that because it's been so long yeah how long has it been oh i don't know i didn't look up the year they but it's not- been it's i mean it's been a long time i liked those they were i mean that wasn't just like my like oh i gotta go watch this i mean i watched it but i didn't go to the movies or anything like that to see it i don't think but i went to the movies to see it i but haven't I- been to the movies in forever since, literally since top gun when we went and that and even then it was probably four years since yeah yeah and top gun was good yeah, um it was good. i watched this have you seen the tom cruise deep fake um stuff on tiktok or instagram reels or anything so there's this guy oh that looks like him that looks like him and um he so I just watched this like long interview with him. He's completely fascinating. Like he's from a political family, grew up in D.C., graduated from Harvard, has a bunch of siblings and wanted to be an actor because he always was like making everybody, you know, uh-huh. laugh and stuff growing up. And he was always told he looked like Tom Cruise, but just kind of kind yeah, of passing yeah. or whatever. Well, then he goes to Hollywood to try to be an actor. And every time he goes to like audition it'll come down to like the last two people and he's one of the final two and it's like do we want this guy that has a unique look or do we want the tom cruise knockoff and so it like basically hurt him in all of his like acting endeavors and so he ended up starting a bunch of businesses and i mean Mm -hmm. he's wildly successful i mean obviously he's intelligent he's a harvard grad and all this stuff and he's like a great interview i found him completely fascinating well so in 2020 he did and he started doing kind of like spoof videos yeah everybody did everybody was online Mm -hmm. in 2020 because of the pandemic he did this spoof video about tom cruise running for office Uh and it was like tom cruise running because he runs right yeah and he didn't in um and obviously it's not tom cruise because he but he looks enough like yeah yeah. he runs and all that kind of stuff well Somebody um, took the video and used like deep fake AI technology and put Tom Cruise's face on it and then reposted it and it went like crazy viral. And so then he started making videos like that all the time. Like he kind of partnered with this guy. And now he's got a company that does this AI stuff. I mean, like, because oh of course God. he's fucking brilliant. Of course yeah. he would do that, right? Yeah. And so he's got this whole company that works with people to do this like AI stuff and um, like legit. And he said, um, that Tom Cruise is the like one celebrity that has never done commercials, like even overseas, because you know a lot of those celebrities. Yeah, people, he's never done commercials. He's never done a TV series. Never even appeared as like a cameo in a TV sp- series. Like, does not have any social media. I mean, you can't find a celebrity that's never done yeah. any of that stuff. Like, yeah. he is like so 
you know, yeah. I'm doing this. And um, and he's like, I reached out to Tom Cruise's team. I was like, you can have the handle. You can have, like, I tried to offer it all to them. If they wanted to take it down, they could have asked me to take it down. Nobody has said anything. They basically just act like I don't exist. But, like, I mean, clearly, it's oh, got like, a million. They have to know. Yeah. And how interesting is that? I wonder if, I feel like I've seen it. Like, I wonder if I've seen the 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 Tom Cruise face on him mm-hmm. and not the real him. Maybe. Maybe. I'm his curious. name is uh, Miles. I'm going to look him up real quick. Mm, I can't think. Miles? I can't think of his full name. It, Miles is either his first name or his last name. I can't remember. Speaking of Tom Cruise, though, did you, have we already talked about this? The Late Late Show, James Corden's last episode? Oh, you told me about what was happening, but. So Tom Cruise and James Corden did a musical. Did you? Did I tell you about this? Oh, you, I haven't seen it. Oh, it's so good because you know, in all the other videos, like James Corden was doing something that Tom Cruise wanted to do, like super adventurous, jumping out of a plane or flying yeah. the planes or whatever. So he's like, well, "So we're going to flip the script, and Tom Cruise is going to come do Lion King with me." And so they did it in front of a real audience on Broadway in New York that had like did not know that Tom Cruise was going to ah! be in it. And it's so funny because he's, I mean, he's a fucking actor. He's, and he's a, he's a great celebrity. Like uh-huh. he just like yeah. kind of goes along yeah. with it. He's wearing the costumes. He's singing. He's dancing on stage. It's fucking fantastic. And you have to watch uh, the whole thing because it goes to the end. And there's so the a big people didn't know number. that he was, did they know that, that that's, I mean, as soon as they saw him. Oh, yeah. Okay. So like he wasn't in, so in costume. That, oh no, you could definitely tell it was him. Oh my God. That is so funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you that's have so to cool. watch it. It's so worth it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I have to look that up. I'm so clueless. I love hearing these things. Like you're my pop culture, like because you can like, <laughs> you know, I t- I said this a long time ago that I'd gotten the subscription to Us Weekly, just because that's a long time ago. What was mm-hmm. how I kept up with it, and and then when I did get the subscription, it sucks so bad because well, it's, it's all an they're, ad. They're pulling Instagram. Yeah, and it's, stuff. it's not even like real at all. So mm-hmm. it's just like, oh, this sucks. I mean, yeah. you can totally tell. Yeah. I mean, when when I was when I look even at People magazine, I'm like, okay, all of this stuff was on Instagram last week. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I yeah. just like I feel for these publications because yeah. I mean, how do you how do you keep up with this when it's all online so quickly? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. I, so that probably means that you didn't know that they're remaking White Man Can't Jump. No. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I think that's racist. It's. <laughs> I mean, it does. If it was the, said the, way, the other way, I mean, if it was said a different way, it would be. Yeah, but the way it's done, I, I mean, know, it's I know. not. It's not. Who's but, in it? Um, it is uh, Jack Harlow is playing the Woody Harrelson character. Jack Harlow. He's the rapper. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Aw. And uh, th- I mean, I'm not going to lie. I did like that movie a lot. I'm not going to lie. The trailer, I did watch the trailer. It looked pretty entertaining. Oh, does Woody Harrelson make a cameo? Um, he doesn't in the trailer, but I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if he does in the movie. Yeah. That's kind of, I did his, like that movie. That's kind of his shtick. I don't know the, I don't know who's playing the Wesley Snipes character. Yeah. Um, it was somebody I didn't recognize right off the top of my head, you know, mm-hmm. cause I was, so I don't know. I'm sure it's somebody famous. I it's been think. a minute. I mean, like, I'm kind of like trying to remember the, sh- the movie, like how, what the premise was and stuff. Like, wasn't he like trying to like win Yeah, but they were or, hustling people. Yeah, because, they were hustling. Because people assumed that the yeah. white man yeah. couldn't. Dump. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, what else? Um, oh, there's a lot. Let's see. Um, tell me more. I've got, I've got, what's on your, I've, I've, I've introduced all the things. You tell me what's going on with you. I mean, I don't really, I'm so boring. Like, it seems like I'm so boring because I don't have, um, I mean, I'm working or, or I'm working. So, what's the latest on the salon? What's, um, the- it's going well. I'm, I'm starting like, since May 1st, which is a week ago, <laughs> um, I have it, like, I'm starting to feel like pressure a little bit, you know, more mm-hmm. than I had been of just like when I go into the space and like all the things that need to be done, but a lot of stuff has been done. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like just, just visually thinking of just things that probably I need to be doing and I don't have time, you know, stuff like that. So we've got a li- we have a, they should be. I thought the floors were going to be finished this week. They're not going to be finished next week. You know, just stuff like that. But it's looking great. And you I don't can't... have a date that you have to be out of your current space. No, right? but so I good. need to be out. I mean, I want to be I mean, out. You don't want to be paying double. Not yeah. much longer. Yes, yeah. it'd be great not to. <laughs> <laughs> um, so 
I don't know. I'm just ready for it to be. I'm ready to do this because right now when I go over there and I just see what I feel like I can feel it Mm -hmm. and I'm just like, oh my God, I'm so ready. (laughs) And I've ordered some things from Ikea Uh um, that are going to be here Monday, I think. And I'm a little nervous on how much, because we have to put all that stuff together and like Ikea stuff is not fun to put together. And I just... I want to be away from the the tools when this happens because Matt's going to be cussing. Oh, God, I could have built this. <laughs> and I know you could, but. Do you want me to come over and help? Because he probably won't do that in front of other people. And I can put together some furniture. <sighs> I worked at Pier 1 all throughout college. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Maybe. I can work in Allen But I can't. <laughs> it's well, the same thing. That's, it's being delivered on Monday, but we can't walk on the floor. Like all the, everything's going to be taped up, which actually I could probably put it together. I don't know. Thank you. And I might I might hit you <laughs> up on that for the next weekend or something. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah. It's a lot. So anyway, mm-hmm. I've done that. Um, what else? I've gotten a couple like little things from Amazon that have been kind of fun. I'm not like not doing not getting fun things, but it's mm-hmm. like I got it's I'm sure you've seen this all over Instagram. It's like this this scrubber, like electric scrub, scrubber mm-hmm. that has like a long stick so you can clean your bathroom. How excited. I, I'm very excited about that. I don't get served those ads. <laughs> they know I need to clean my house. <laughs> they know I don't clean my house. I don't want I mean, to. I, I have someone that helps yes. me do that. I don't. <laughs> well. Um, Not to say that I live in filth. <laughs> I mean, I, I do feel, by the time she comes back around. But. Yeah. I live in filth, I feel like, right now. Because I just don't have time to clean it. <laughs> you know you don't. And um, that's been exciting. <laughs> I um, have been doing some online shopping over the past week, and I think all of the packages are arriving tomorrow, which <gasps> is like cringing to me because my husband will be home and I will be out because I've got plans tomorrow evening. Oh, no. And I'm like, oh, why do they all have to come at the same time? What'd you get? What are you ordering? Um, You know, <laughs> I've ordered several pairs of shoes. Um, It's just, it's like the spring fever summer, yeah. you know, like I've ordered some, you know, kind of like really like lightweight cotton sweaters you know because i get really cold inside i'm inside mm-hmm. most of the day so yeah. it's like something good for summer um <laughs> you know just so it's all gonna be delivered need. yeah that's it's funny. just like i was like on my way over here i started counting in my head and i was like I th- i'm pretty sure we're gonna have six packages delivered tomorrow and i am gonna Woo! really that, be in what i always say if there's something that's been de- like a lot that's been delivered i'll be like i'm not keeping all of it <laughs> i'm just gonna be trying it on and then i'll send it back <laughs> I could I could say that too. You know that now. I mean, like I still, like as there, I was go. I was looking for something in my like baskets of bags because mm-hmm. bags are my weakness, like yeah. for real, my weakness, which is hilarious since I rarely leave the house. And um, I was digging through them, looking for something. There's shit that still has tags on them. Oh my gosh, Emily! <laughs> and I mean, it's probably, I need to shop in your closet. It's like you, but like our styles are so different. Yeah. You wouldn't like any of it, you know? <laughs> they all tote bags. Um, no, uh, uh-uh. uh, oh, okay, no. And, um, yeah, so anyway. That's my fun. <laughs> it's gonna be Did you fun. order more bags? Do you have another bag coming? Do I, 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 I don't know that I've pressed the button to order. I've got some in a shopping cart. But oh, that's funny. <laughs> um, but I do have some that I've ordered that have not been used yet. I feel like I need a new bag, but I just don't. I feel like I've needed, I've wanted one throughout the year, but I don't know what I want. I just know I need a crossbody. Mm-hmm have to have a crossbody it's just now my requirement yeah. um and it can be big but it needs to be a comfortable crossbody not like the tiny one yeah, yeah you know um but i don't even know where to look yeah i don't i think i'm kind of overpaying like a super ton you know i don't of course i don't want to yeah. do that yeah right now um but yeah, that's I'm boring right now. I'm so boring. You're not boring. You got a lot going on. <laughs> your your I've got best friend, ra- little yeah, rock. fun fundraiser thing. You know, please go and support my page, please. <laughs> um, I'm raising money for American Cancer Society, and you can find the links on her Instagram. Yes, and we've got some really amazing gift baskets that we'll be raffling off for ten dollars every ten dollars donated 
is a chance was like one listen chance. i donated today and i saw I was that like, thank I was you like, i hope i still am eligible for that gift yeah, basket are. entry <laughs> yeah you are i need to sell lots of tickets so physically do not have raffle tickets yeah it's just that when you go to donate It'll say you need to make your name public for your donation. Mm -hmm. And once I see, like, for every $10 increment, it... Oh, I didn't make my name public. No, I, yeah, you did. I did. You did. I just didn't make my amount public. That's yeah. What I did. Oh, yeah. maybe not. You probably I can probably see it. I probably saw it. Yeah. 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 So, that fun. makes sense. Yay. Yeah. So, I'm excited. And it's going to creep up before we know it. And I'm trying to... I've come up with an idea. I'm not going to share it. I'm <laughs> I mean, with y'all right now, but I will tell you later. What I'm kind of thinking I might want to wear for that Ooh, event. Ooh, fun. I guess, what's the, what is the attire? I think you could do, I mean, I think attire is going to be whatever. Like, more like cocktail, probably. Okay. Like, going out cocktail. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think that, I don't think there's going to be, like, ball, no one's going to be What's the date of the The 9th of the June. Ninth. Yeah, I think Matthew's going to be out of town. I'm going to be rolling solo that night. I mean, I probably would anyway. I told him I wouldn't make him yeah. go because... Yes. He would bring it game. down. Bring down the fun level. <laughs> I mean, he's very social, but not yeah. like if he has to, if there's a dress code, he's probably not going to want to be involved. Yeah. That, yes. Um, yeah. I need a <laughs> cheering section so everybody can please. I know. I got to figure out what I'm going to wear. I know. I can't wait. I'm going to show you my idea. I'm going to go, um, I'm going to talk to someone about um, making it. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. So Ooh. I have some ideas. Um. And then you're also doing a fundraiser at Four Quarter. Yes, fundraiser, fundraiser at Four Quarter. Our friends, um, the band uh, Rocktown Sparks, are playing mm -hmm. a, a show at Four Quarter. And the cover is going to be all donations. So all the cover prices will go towards the fundraiser as well. That's so that's awesome. going to be so fun. And what date is that? That is May 18th. Fun, fun, fun. I know. That's going to be really fun. It's on a Thursday. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be... And they play some great, like, covers and mm -hmm. dance music. And there's, like, seven members of the band. Mm -hmm. And it's just going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm You're going to raise more money than anybody else. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. It won't be for lack of effort. If no. You yeah. Exactly. So. Yeah. Anyway. Well, cool. Yeah. I'm excited. Very cool. But anyway. Yeah. It's a, it's a good month. April, there was a lot of, like, social stuff. I think May is going to be the same yes. thing. It's kind of. May is kind of good. a social. And then we hit summer and I think things kind of just it's change. Hot. It gets hot and people like go yeah. out of town and, you know. No one whole... schools out. I feel like everybody just kind of like leaves town for a while. Yeah. The At least the first changes. week. I feel like pe some people just go like the heights. It seems like it kind of slows down and mm -hmm. everybody's like on vacation right when school's out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine yeah. for me. Yeah. I'm like get your fucking kids out of my neighborhood yeah I was, Matthew and I've become the old people I was like when I first moved into this house I was the youngest person on the street like I mean like literally like 90 year olds lived around me and the neighborhood has changed so yeah. much and it's all these young families like with little kids I'm little like little kids little kids like I, I mean <laughs> like, yeah and they're all over the streets <laughs> out in the streets playing driving the golf carts around I've become like I'm this like, is Kravitz it drives me bonkers <laughs> it really does i'm like that's hilarious oh i'm like gosh. i have this love-hate relationship with my neighborhood you have a great i mean great spot i love a corner like she's at a I've, corner house i've and, got a great location i yeah. like being able to walk up to to you know um mm -hmm. the cavanaugh area i love like being able to walk around the neighborhood but the but, if it weren't for the people <laughs> oh my god okay uh i'm starving Okay, well, let's wrap it up. Because, but I don't have any food. <laughs> you don't have some, uh... Well, I have, I've, okay, so I've really gotten, you know, we've been doing the Home home Chef? No. HelloFresh? HelloFresh, thank you. Where am I saying Home for, home Chef? I don't know what that, anyway, and you know how, like, I feel like you can do it for so long and then you just get kind of tired of it. Yeah, because it's kind of, it's like the same ingredients. Yeah. Really jiggered. It's like a... And I'm kind of over it. Yeah. And it makes it kind of difficult on the on the the app to to stop it. Like you can skip weeks, mm -hmm. but it makes it hard to cancel. And I haven't figured out. I was trying to like do that because I think I'm kind of done with it for a while. But um, I just don't like to cook. I even I'm though the you. stuff is there and it's right there, I'm like I'm just not in the mood to make it. And that's yeah. that, that's how we're gonna have to have food tonight. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to make it. So 
But I am hungry because I, I did not eat much today at the lunch at the salon. Mm-hmm. Got to get better. I've got to go to the store and get some sandwich meat. You know, this some is a boring talk. Stuff. But yeah, no, I mean, it's, but yeah, it's, it's like, life. ugh. Anyway, I'm bo- I'm boring. I'll, I'll I'll get more fun soon. You're not boring. When I get to, um, I can't wait. I just can't wait to have a party. <laughs> Did I tell you that I bought DJ service? Uh-huh. Okay, uh-huh. I can't. I can't wait. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Be fun. Okay, well, let's girl. Wrap it up. All right. Cheers, friends. Cheers.